Morning, this is Seiko. It is Tuesday, November 30th. It's the last day of November. So we only have 32 days for 2021. So, yeah, uh, you know, just do whatever we can, you know, every day and make it, uh, you know, full. Uh, um, anyway, so I got uh, 10 pounds on the side. All right. And I'm going to start with the warm up. Uh, put your feet really squeeze. Good. All right. And go down, squat, and up. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, up at the top. Draw in your navel. Make sure shoulders away, not. Round your back, good. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Make sure your booty is back, your heel, your weight on your heels. You don't open your toes really wide, right? So it's almost straightforward. You can do a little bit open. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Beautiful. If you can go lower, go ahead. Four more. Three, yes, two, last one and hold up and down. One, two, three. Make sure your feet are flat, shoulders away, stall, pull down your shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one, all the way, and put your four fingers onto the groins area, so cable area. All right, so then. From here, push the fingers and push the booties back. Your back is nice and flat and up. One, so you feel the good stretch backside of your legs as well. And press the four fingers. You're trying to loosen up there. Many people have those areas really hardened, but it originally supposed to be soft and you can put push your fingers into it good give me four more four and three two last one push the fingers four fingers good and slowly back grab the heavy weights all right, so we're gonna do the same movement. Your feet about shoulder width and bring your um, dumbbells in front of your thighs and go down, good. And back up. From side, heels, right? on Weights on your heels. So kind of train, trace your leg, front of your legs with your weights. Go down, push, push back. Your tailbones sticking out. Ooh, good. Shoulders away from the face. Go down, draw your navel and back. Give me two more. Down and up, squeeze it. Last one. And we're gonna add Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, and back, and that lift, the other leg, down, and back, that lift, good, and reverse lunge, up, bent, good, back, and up, bent. Beautiful. Four more. Four. And down. Three. And down. Good. And two. Keep breathing. Last one. 
Good. Good job, everyone. And go back again. Good. And lift both weights and back. The other side. And back. Hammer curl. Up. I just did my arms. And my arms are weak. Good. But I keep doing it. Yes. Because I want to get back in shape with my arms and shoulders, especially. Good. And four more. Oh. Three. Yes. Two. Getting heavy. Last one. And back. Oh. Drop your weight. Now we're going to do the curtsy lunge, right? So when you do it, let's add the twist. One and back. One side only, two. So the key is your front knee, same direction with your front toe and back. One, up, drawing your navel, two and three, four, four more, four, Flat, flat, three, doing great, two, last one and hold, extend your arms, good, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then go up and touch the heel, good, and go down again and lift one two exhale three four five six two more seven yes last one good oh yes feel it loosen up a little bit Okay, good. The other side, ready? And what I was doing right here, good. One, and up, two. When you twist, you mean it, you make sure you tighten up your abs. Good, shoulders away, down, and up. And lift from the front heel. Good. Oh, even we're doing the lower body, I, you know, kind of consider all the way here, right to work. It's all connected anyway. Four more. Oh, three. Doing good. So your back knee closer to the floor as you go down. Last one. Hold. Extend your arms. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up and touch. Good. Your heel down, up, down, touch. Yeah. Beautiful. Ooh. Yeah. And up, down, up, down. Give me three more. Three. Two, last one. Good job. Oh, wow. How are you doing? Doing okay? All right, so we're going to go back to the reverse lunge. And I want you to uh, sit up your knees touching on somewhere soft enough, um, you know, cushions. If you have, um, Pop it maybe okay. So I don't want you to hurt your knee because I'm, I want you to go all the way down, right? So from here, no weight. Go down, right here. From the side, right here. Then flex your ankle and bring your heels up towards your booties. And make sure your hips are square right here. And go back up. Go down, one side on me, 
heels up and back down heels so you feel the hamstrings right i hope you do up and stand up good go down heels up Woo. you feel it that's a good workout for your hammies and hammy is really important right Woo. just tighten up back side of your legs and support your booties so keep in the place no avalanche here four more squeeze if you feel like a cramp be careful you might want to do a little bit less but if you can really squeeze that small muscle right here Woo. good how many more last one down squeeze hold it squeeze squeeze and down up two three four more four three two one down and stand up hello drink water all right before we go to the next the other side drink water beautiful all right ready so stand one end you can face front i just doing the side right down squeeze right there back and stand go down all the way your knees down squeeze back up down crunch and up make sure you your navel drawing back up so you feel your hamstring here you feel the glute here on the front side down squeeze it stand up tall down squeeze it go up good down heel to the buns good now feel it beautiful give me two more down up and up last one down squeeze it and hold it drawing your navel your shoulders away pull down your shoulder blades make the perfect form please yes you're the only one knows what you're doing right but uh, since you are with me for quite a long time so you know what's right and wrong so good and just stay there and use your hemis one two drawing your navel every time you lift your heels four more three two one Woo. and stand up good job everyone doing wonderful grab the one dumbbell we're going to do the side lunges right and here we did the last last time right last class so start from here side lunge so hold hold the both ends of the heavy weight right here and you go down like a cossack like russian dance right if you can if you can hold it weights and you know hold yourself drop it and support good all right right here then back up Woo. all right go down Woo. back up go down if you can't do really deep go ahead to just stop wherever you feel comfortable and try to put your toes up good and back up go down and back up go down Woo. back up well 10 pounds really helps Oof. down and back up four more yes three doing great two Woo. last one and hold Woo. and four three two one center good 
and back. Center, back. Four more. Three, two, last one. Back in the center and up. Wow, good. So now you're on the sumo squat. Roll back your shoulders, chest is up. Good, and go down and back up, squeeze. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So also this one on your heels too. Up, inhale, exhale. Squeeze your glute into the center, squeeze it. Join your navel, same time. Good. Down and up. Just a, you know, extra. Your arms. Four more. Three. Yes. Two. Last one and hold. Shifting weight side to side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, join your navel. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back in center. Squeeze back up. Whew. Good job, everyone. So, by the way, you can drop your weight anytime, right? Okay, let's start the other side. Hold both ends and step side and lift your toe right there. Good. And back up. Go down. This side I can do deeper without hurting my knee. Somehow my right side, this side was hurting when I do really this low. But you don't have to go this slow, right? You can stay here a little higher. Your choice. Ooh. Good, coming back up is challenge with extra 10 pounds. Whew. Just doing this and feel like it, you don't wanna gain 10 pounds, right? Whew. Daily life will be harder. Oh, good. Four more. Oh, three. You're doing great. Stay with me. Two. Whew. Oh. Last one and hold. Four, three, two, one, and ha. Right here. Good. Whew. And hold it and good stretch. Drop your weights. Good. Whew. And extend your hips, legs, and hips up. Good. And back here and up. So from the side. Flat here and go down and up. Inhale, exhale. In order to grow the muscle, raise the muscle, knees a stretch. Good stretch. We, we always do on the, at the end, but in the middle, I think it's important. Good. Whew. Four more, if you can't reach it there, that's okay, right here. Three, two, just don't push directly on your knee joints. Last one, up and hold. Whew. You feel good, stretch, join your navel, good. And pointing your tailbones up, neutral neck. Four, three, two, one, slowly back. Oh, how's everyone? Doing okay? All right, let's do some clamshells. Right, it's kind of break. <laughs> All right, so as usual, you're gonna concentrate your hips, but also here, down the bottom. Don't just relax fully. Lift a little bit. Join your navel and your Hips are vertical, good. And bring your knees bent 
forward, it's not 90 degrees, about 45 degrees from here. Good. And by the way, you can massage anytime, any area, good spots, right? Okay, so open your knees, keep your feet together, and two, three. You don't have to always feel like half and puff. Once in a while, it's good, cardiovascular as well, a little cardio-ish, but also this, you know, slow movement, quiet movement doesn't require the speed, but it's a good pace, right? Tempo and up. So now you can focus on your glute, especially this one's on the side and upper there. How's your lower obliques? Keep that a nice and tight. Good. If you can't concentrate both, focus is here. I'm just doing a bonus thing. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Of course, your feet up. Good. Now it's got the longer legs to trouble with your knee to reach the other knee. Okay, obliques, tighten up. If you can't lift a little bit, just tight. Good. At the top, squeeze your glute without opening your hips. Good. So it's a multitasking. Good. Four more. Three. Two, doing great during your navel, one and hold. Woo. And keep your lower foot here, good. And bring your knee towards your face, good. One, up, two, oh. three, four, five. During your navel, don't lean back, right? Keep your hips vertical, that's important. Three, two, last one. You feel it? Good stretch there. Extend your leg, good, and back. Up, down, extend, bend, extend. Don't open your hips again. It's easy, you forget. Oh yeah, my butt is screaming right now. Four more, three, not just you. Last one, good. Bring your lower foot forward and bring down. Now you feel stretch. Your upper foot is going down all the way to the floor and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you don't want to too high, right? Because then you ended up opening your hips or doing something else. By the way, your obliques, good. And push back, good. And flex and back here. And from the heel, your hips are still vertical. Your upper body is not moving back and forth. Just the waist and down. At the back, very back, squeeze your lower side of your glute. Good. Eight, seven, six, whew, five, four more, three, two, last one, good. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Woo. Tap, tap, tap. Your IT band, hips, hemis, outside of your car, all massage. Good. And the other side. Yes, you want to make even, evenly round, right? You don't want to have one flat, one round. Good. And lift. So right here, 
should be the like a uh, narrowest spot lift kind of and join your navel good and bring your knees forward a little bit and so you find a good spot you know if you need to go a little farther front to be able to lift fully good your knees up but your hips are not going along stay there stake like you skewer pull, you know push the skewer in and all the way to the floor that's ouch but just the imagination just pull push it good join your navel every time so even we didn't do the crunch or anything just you know particularly for the abs you're still working you really don't have to do whole lot crunch crunch and stuff if you do it correctly good how many more four nine eight seven six oh, five make sure you feel every time you open your knees right two and flatten tummy good and obliques lift a little bit good and bring your feet up good and don't open your hips right keep it at a, a vertical one two three oh yes four five see i was talking to my coach you know my, because my friend wanted to start with him right the other day yesterday actually and we talk about how we started how we met you know we and the coach met six years ago you know it was like kind of um accidentally you know bumping each other i i spot him and i knew that was goldie right so anyway so i told him i want my goal is to get the rounder tighter butt and he didn't say anything at the time but now he's saying yes i could see why she wants it because at the time my butt wasn't round really and droopy yeah a little bit sad I, I did, you know, tell you the truth, you know, honestly, I thought I was pretty good at the time, but I wanted to make it a little better. But from his eyes at the time, yeah, I definitely needed work and I'm glad I started back then. So six years later, I still don't think it's perfect, but I feel much better. Good. Okay, right here, last one. Good. And here, oh no, right here, oh, right here. Bring the knee towards your nose. Don't forget your obliques. Join your navel. Good. One. And two. Whew. Three. So you bring in, you feel that stretch right there, right? Right here. And also you crunch your obliques. I like it. This is my first time doing this. Good. Four more. Don't open your hips. Three, two, last one. Woo! Extend your leg. Bring your lower foot forward and down. Woo! And up, down. Touch the floor. Tuck the floor. Make sure your hips are still vertical, flat in front. Close your rib cage. Your obliques, lower obliques, working a little tight. Good. Whew. Good. I only do 30 minutes, right? It's almost done. Good. If I can remember the whole routine. Good. Give me four more. Four. Stretch here. Three. Squeeze right there. Two. Last one. Flex. Bring your heel back and straight back. One, two, whew, three. You remember what I said when you go all the way back? You focus on the lower side of your glute. You don't want to have like double, like double chain things, right? Or triple, quadruple. You don't want that, right? Remove that. Focus that and squeeze it. Beautiful. 
and how many more? And four more, three, two, doing great. Last one, drawing the navel, shoulders up, don't round, right? Good. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're feeling right here in the center, all the way to the side. So I want you to focus the whole area right here. Good. Yes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift the lower foot. Four, three, two, one. Done. Good job, everyone. Oh, yeah. I guarantee you're going to feel it tomorrow. And so me too. Okay, hug your knees, round your back, lower backs, good stretch. Good. Woo. Extend your legs, shake, 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 loosen up. All right. And kick your booties. Good. And stretch is really important. So, especially when we get older, you know, naturally body gets stiffer. Like I was watching a baby, like six month old baby yesterday. He just, oh, he's not quite ready to sit up and his head is heavy, of course. And he's just oh, like, you know, pancake, just boom. Ah, good. Adults cannot do that. Right, and bring your le left foot down, right leg up, grab the ankle. Tight enough, you feel it. Good. Pointing toe, flex toe, flex and circle a couple times and reverse. Good. All right. Keep your left hand push towards the left. Of course, your right side glute lifted, but you also feel good stretch outside of your leg. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Oh, by the way, tap, tap, tap is always a good option. Good. Back into the center. You can use a couple fingers. Find just the, in the center of the um, backside of the knee cap. It's almost like you have a line because you always bend there. So press with one or two fingers each side and bend your knee in straight. Press, press, and up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Four more. Three. Oh, doing great, too. Pressure, pressure, right? And the fingers up about two, an oh, inch and quarter up and find where, whatever. You may not be able to feel exactly. I don't know what it's supposed to be really, but in the picture should be the end of like sausage right here because that's a hamstring. So those are um, areas that are touching, right? Regiment, good. Um, I can't remember all the words. Anyway, so press it and extend. Good, four more. Three, two, last one. And tap, 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 tap your quads, good. And back here, shin and around, good. Behind your knee, good. And your hamstrings. Okay, then put your right hand, flex and open. Keep the balance with your boot. And with your opposite knee, open a little bit. Good, back to the center. Extend your leg, bend your knee, good. 
and twist and tap 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 your glute and keeping a little massage loosen up to the side as well wherever you feel good good back to the center for your full put your right foot in the thigh through the hole bring your left leg in so your right, right side of the glute is nicely stretched oh. inhale Exhale. Good. Switch side. Left leg up. You can bend your knee and grab the ankle with both hands. Pointing toe, flex, toe, flex, circle. If you're flexible, extend the other leg. Good. Beautiful. And right hand outside of the left foot. Pull in to the right side and your outside of your legs nicely stretched. And you can also tap with your fist wherever you can reach. Loosen up, loosen up. Good. Whew, a little more. Oh, good. And back to the center. Two fingers behind your knee. Press in and extend. Out. Good. Keep pressing it is the point. Because when you extend your leg, they're gonna push back, right? Good. Two more. Last one. Good. And find another end, inch and quarter right there probably press in and bend your knee and extend bend your knee inhale exhale inhale exhale good oh yes four more three two last one and put your left hand, open your leg to the side. You can always bend your knee, right? Or extend your choice. You feel the good stretch on the inner thigh right now. Back to the center, extend your leg and bend your knee and twist. Keep your left shoulders down. Good. And use your knuckles to massage your glute or tap, tap, tap of your choice. Because only just the stretching, you know, doesn't work. You can do a little help. All right. Ooh. Squeeze, squeeze. Back to the center. Figure four. Put your foot on the thigh through the hole. Bring your leg in. Thank you. How's everyone? You feel it? Good. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. Good, extend your legs and arms, pointing toes. Good morning, stretch. And bend your knee and flip over, facing down. Put your hands on the side and stretch your front side, shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, go down. Grab the ankles, lift your knees and chest up. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, go down, push yourself back up, child's pose, good, we didn't do much shoulders, but let's do it, that helps, right, and shoulders down, inhale, exhale, Good, the other side, left arm under the right arm, shoulders down, oh yes, I feel it, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, good, and open your knees, open your toes, down to the elbow, and push the hips towards back, and forward, exhale, and back, 
Yes. Oh, feel good. Last one and hold. You feel good. Stretch. Good. Four, three, two, one. Slowly back forward. Good. Now we're going to do the forearms, right? I promised earlier, like several months ago. All right. And hips slowly towards the heels. Your forearms are stretching nicely. If you are have you know you're painful, don't do it. Just sit down and do um, other stretching. Good. And back. All right. And cross the legs, side stretch because we worked on the obliques, right? Well, we're working on the clamshells routine. Good and face down, reach. Good. Feel good stretch there. The other side. Reach, reach, reach. Open your chest. And down. One more. Open. And face down all the way and reaching, reaching to the corner. Good. And big circle. Open. <laughs> Cross. Stretch your back. Make it like this to your C. Good. Overhead. Close the fingers in the back. Shoulders away, chins up. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now put your hands, your right hand on above the left chest. Good. And pull down and you look away towards right and chins up. You feel it? Good. Good stretch there. Good. And the other side. Pull down the skin and look about angle 45 degrees and chins up. You adjust the angle you, wherever you feel most. Inhale, exhale, very good. Cross the arm, shoulders down, head to the right. The other side, shoulders down, head to the left. Oh, very good. And triceps, and side crunch, and twist. Oh, yeah. uh, and back the other side stretch your triceps and armpits um, and obliques and back beautiful deep breaths twice inhale exhale everything one more time inhale and exhale. Thank you so much, everyone. All right, we're finished.